Don't be fooled by the pretty faces. Victoria's Secret models have been accused of some seriously shady behavior. Let's break down the ugly and not at all angelic side of these past and present Victoria's Secret models. In December 2018, model Kelly Gale was accused of fat shaming when she filmed herself jumping rope right outside of an In N Out burger. In one clip, she makes a show of enjoying fruits and vegetables she brought with her to the restaurant, while another shows her setting up exercise equipment at an outdoor table. At best, she was acting desperate for attention. But to many viewers, she was also not so subtly shaming people who enjoy fast food. Maybe start putting tomatoes on your In N Out burgers. Gail was chastised by her followers for the stunt, with some pointing out that you don't need to shame other people for your fitspiration posts. Taylor Hill may have had a little bit too much fun at the Coachella Festival in April 2018. The model was photographed in a compromising position with her boyfriend, Michael Shank, and another friend as they exited the festival's neon carnival party. Hill apparently needed some assistance getting out of there, being photographed with her friends holding her upright as she stumbled along. Paparazzi recorded the model shouting about her love for Beyonce before going silent, prompting some photographers to ask if she needed an ambulance. She eventually made her way into a waiting SUV. In April 2018, Bella Hadid came under fire for seemingly using the N-word while rapping along to a Lil Wayne song at Coachella. The reported incident led Hadid's followers to dredge up old tweets in which she'd also used the racial slur, as well as other stereotypes against people of color. That wasn't Hadid's only headline-making scandal. In 2014, when she was 17, she was busted for a DUI, allegedly blowing almost twice the legal limit after ignoring a stop sign and almost hitting a police car. After the incident, Blind Gossip obtained an email allegedly sent from Yolanda Hadid to her youngest daughter, begging her to clean up her act, as well as her car, which the email said was strewn with prescription drugs, beer cans, vodka bottles, rolling papers, and perhaps worst of all, dirty underwear. Bella Hadid later claimed that her DUI behavior was actually the result of her Lyme disease diagnosis. A creative excuse, if nothing else. Bella Hadid isn't the only Victoria's Secret model accused of using the N-word. In November 2017, a group of mostly blonde beauties wrapped along to a lyric in Cardi B's Bodak Yellow containing the racial slur. From the surviving video of the incident, it isn't crystal clear who exactly yelled the word out. The only model who was truly safe from being accused of using the word was Devin Windsor, who faced the camera and skipped the entire line of the song, effectively keeping herself out of trouble. What's even sketchier is that Jezebel reported that the footage may have originated from a behind-the-scenes Victoria's Secret fashion show video that Carly Kloss posted on her own YouTube account. And when the viral moment faced criticism, it appeared that Kloss edited out the models reciting the line with the N-word. You may have noticed that Gigi Hadid was absent from the Victoria's Secret fashion show in 2017. That could be because the show was held in Shanghai, China, and before it was filmed, Hadid came under fire for making fun of the way Asian people look. Hadid announced she'd be walking in the show in August, drawing an instant backlash of angry comments on her Instagram. A few days later, she issued an apology on Weibo in both English and Mandarin, writing, "...it hurts me to hurt anyone, and I want you all to know that it was never my intent to offend anyone through my actions." and I sincerely apologize to who felt hurt or let down by me. I have the utmost respect and love for the people of China and cherish the incredible memories I have made while visiting in the past. I have learned to be very careful of how my actions can come off or be portrayed, and I'm hopeful you'll accept my apology." However, Teen Vogue reported that the apology fell flat, in part because she only issued it on Weibo and not on Twitter or Instagram. In the November 2015 issue of Vogue Italia, Gigi Hadid could be seen wearing a lot of bronzer and several Afro wigs. And when we say a lot of bronzer, we mean a lot of bronzer. In the May 2018 issue of the same magazine, Hadid was once again photographed in uncomfortably dark makeup, looking almost unrecognizable. This shoot once again led to backlash about the magazine's lack of diversity and Hadid's perceived habit of cultural insensitivity. She apologized on Twitter, alongside a photo of her wearing bronzer leaving the shoot. In her apology, she noted that the styling for the shoots were completely out of her control. She wrote, Please understand that my control of a shoot, one, is non-existent in terms of creative direction, two, ends completely when I leave set and anything done to a photo and post is out of my control fully. It's important to note that Hadid still apologized for the issues the shoot raised, while making it clear that it wasn't her idea, saying in part, "...my intention is never to diminish those concerns or take opportunities away from anyone else." At the 2012 Victoria's Secret fashion show, Carly Kloss wore a Native American-style headdress on the runway, accompanied by leopard print underwear and a turquoise necklace. It was an ethnic grab bag of a look which rubbed many viewers the wrong way. Navajo Nation spokesman Ernie Zaw told the Associated Press at the time, 
any mockery, whether it's Halloween, Victoria's Secret, they are spitting on us. They are spitting on our culture, and it's upsetting. Victoria's Secret said in a statement that they'd pull Klaus's walk in the headdress from the broadcast of the show. Klaus apologized for the gaffe on Twitter, sort of, writing that she was, quote, deeply sorry if what she wore during the VS show offended anyone. Note that she didn't actually apologize for wearing it. She's just sorry you were offended. Classy. On an episode of E's Model Squad in September 2018, Shanina Scheich lamented the lack of diversity in modeling and fashion, explaining that she'd been bullied and had previously been denied the chance to walk in Milan Fashion Week because of her skin color. Instead of sympathizing, Windsor spelled out her own problems with a response seen by many as tone-deaf and ignorant. I literally went through hell, lived in different countries like every other month, and didn't speak that language, didn't speak Paris, didn't speak yeah. Italian. She also added, quote, You know how hard it is to be blonde? I have to get a highlight every month. Do you know how expensive that is? I don't think you can relate to the turmoils of being different. Windsor later tweeted in her own defense, admitting that the comment reflects poorly on her. She wrote, It goes without saying that the comments in the show are incredibly insensitive. I made a comment in jest to infuse levity, and I feel terrible that I have hurt others. I'm even more disappointed that my comments could lead anyone to believe that I have a prejudicial bias. Former Victoria's Secret Angel and Leonardo DiCaprio's ex Aaron Heatherton just can't stay out of court. In September 2017, The Blast reported that Heatherton was sued for a whopping $10 million by a stylist and alleged former business partner who accused Heatherton of suddenly abandoning a sportswear line called Retroactive that they'd been working on together. Heatherton clapped back with a countersuit, seeking to be reimbursed for $25,000 she'd reportedly paid out for work on the line. Heatherton also alleged that the collaboration's resulting sportswear was of poor quality. In July 2018, it was reported that Heatherton's attorney begged a judge to let her drop Heatherton as a client. The reason why was allegedly because the model was behind on paying her legal bills in the retroactive case, and kept ducking the lawyer's attempts to contact her. The attorney also claimed that Heatherton refused to pay, allegedly saying that she planned to file for bankruptcy. But as the year came to an end, bankruptcy proceedings never began, with some concluding that the model was simply blowing off her obligations. But wait, there's more. In July 2016, Page Six reported that Heatherton's neighbors in her West Village apartment building sued her for having way too loud parties, breaking the building's rules that no loud music should be played during nighttime hours. It also came out that Heatherton reportedly owed the building $16,000 in unpaid common charges at the time. Miranda Kerr used to be a Victoria's Secret angel, and she's got one heck of a shady side. Us Weekly reported that Kerr was rumored to have hooked up with Justin Bieber after the 2012 Victoria's Secret fashion show, when she was still married to actor Orlando Bloom. Two years after the alleged incident, Bieber and Bloom nearly came to blows. In 2014, Kerr reportedly dated Malaysian financer Jolo, who gifted her a whopping $8.1 million in jewelry that she was forced to return because, according to the Wall Street Journal, they may have been given to her as part of a money laundering operation. Former Victoria's Secret model Cara Delevingne got herself in some hot water in May 2013. That month, the Daily Mail obtained and published photos of Delevingne trying to conceal a tiny plastic baggie filled with white powder. The photos went viral, reportedly leading clothing retail giant H&M, who had signed Delevingne to be the face of its divided line, to investigate the model for possible cocaine use. She came clean in a 2015 interview with the New York Times, saying, "...I think everyone needs a bit of a slap in the face and a reminder that no one is invincible. That's what it was for me. I want to be clear, I'm so far away from drugs that I couldn't possibly be further away. And whatever happened in the past is in the past. It just doesn't exist anymore." Taylor Swift first performed at the Victoria's Secret fashion show in 2013, after which Australian Victoria's Secret model Jessica Hart got real about her opinions on the performer. Maybe too real. When WWD asked Hart if Swift could make it as a Victoria's Secret model, Hart told the mag, No. I think, you know what? God bless her heart. I think she's great, but I don't know, to me, she didn't fit. I don't know if I should say that. As Jake Gyllenhaal, John Mayer, and Calvin Harris know, hell hath no fury like a scorned Taylor Swift. Hart paid for her moment of shade when Swift was signed on to perform in 2014, reportedly under the condition that Hart not be present. Though the brand denied the rumor, Hart still seems to be publicly bitter about something Swift may or may not have done. In February 2018, Hart posed for an Instagram photo in a sweater that read, four-letter bad word Taylor Swift. Subtle. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.